Ayan, so for our next lesson, we are going to discuss the means, variance, and standard deviation for the binomial distribution. Okay, um, the mean, variance, and standard deviation of a variable that has the binomial distribution can be found by using the following formulas. For our mean, mu is equal to n times p. So this is our number of trials multiplied by our um, uh, probability of success. And our, for our variance, we have uh, n times p times q. And for our dis standard deviation, we're just going to uh, extract the root of the result of this. Okay, so shall we have our first example? Tossing a coin, a coin is tossed four times. Find the mean, variance, and standard deviation of a number of heads that will be obtained. Ayan, so heads naman ngayon ang, kwana naman, heads na naman, number of heads that can be obtained. So again, um, we have to write that up. Ulit lang, guys. Ayan. So, uh, ano daw yung n natin? Ang n natin ay 4, isn't it? Okay. And then, um, number of heads yung ita ating inaano. So, um, ang success natin dito ay getting, getting a number of head. Okay. So, ang success ay getting uh, a head rather getting ahead and the probability of this is one half isn't it okay and so this is our probability of our success and that is equal to p and we have kanina yung ating um uh, formula for mean is mu is equal to n times p which is equal to four times our p is one half which is equal to two so uh um, the uh, probability of getting ahead when you uh, um, toss a coin four times is two. Okay? And then how about for the variance? So our Q here is uh, one minus our P, which is one half, is also one half. Ayan. So uh, our variance is sigma squared is equal to N times P times Q. So we have our N is um, 4 times 1 half times 1 half that is equal to 1 okay why because 4 times 1 half is 2 times 1 half is 1 okay and of course the standard deviation for the standard de deviation you're just going to uh, extract the root of our variance which is also equal to 1 ayan so uh, I hope that's easy Okay, and then how about this one? Ni bakit? Ay akala ko na i na i empty na naman. Sorry guys. Ayan. So a die is rolled three hundred sixty times. Find the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation of the numbers of fours. Okay, of the numbers of fours will be rolled. Ayan. So um, hahanapin daw natin yung kapag three hundred sixty times. So, sige. Ano natin siya, guys? Dito. So, ang n natin this time ay 360 times. Okay? And then, kung titignan natin yung probability distribution ng ng mga dice natin. Okay? So, that the, the, the possible outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Diba? Okay. And then, ah... Uh, the probability, so this is our x, the probability of x is 1 over 6, 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 1 over 6. Ayan, so 4 yung hinahanap natin, so ito siya. So ang success natin ay getting a number of 4. Yun ang success natin. And ang probability nito ay equal to 1 over 6. Okay, so ang failure naman natin is not... 4, isn't it? Kung not 4 naman, ito yung not 4 natin. 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. Yan yung mga not 4 natin. So, ang Q natin, simply, ang Q natin ay makukuha natin 1 minus P, isn't it? Okay, so that will be equal to 4, uh, 5 over 6. Yun ang Q natin. So, I hope that is clear. So, ang N natin ay 360. Ang P natin ay 1 over 6. Kasi isa lang yung 4 natin doon sa ating mga possible outcomes. And then, not all of the others are not 4. Therefore, ang Q natin ay 5 over 6. 
Okay? So, it is a binomial distribution since um, uh, pareho pa rin na ang probability, halimbawa tapos mo na yung 100 na pag toast mo or pag roll mo ng die mo, still kapag uh, yung 100 first na throw mo ng die mo, 1 6 pa rin yung probability na lalabas ang 4. Okay? And independent yung ating mga outcomes. Okay? So, um, we have here our mu. Our mu is equal to n times p, which is 360 multiplied by 1 over 6, or that is 60. Isn't it? Okay, so our mean is 60. And then, we have um, our, uh, our uh, what do you call this? Uh, variance, n times p times q. Okay, so our n is 360 multiplied out by our um, p multiplied by our um, uh, q. Ayan, so that is equal to, let us see, um, cancel natin yan, this will become 60, cancel natin yun, this will become 10. So 10 times 5, that is equal to 50. So the variance is 50. And then, to get the standard deviation, we are just going to extract the root of 50. And so that is, see, yes, extract natin ang 50, that is equal to... Um, 7.07 so this is the variance uh, this is the mean of getting 4 okay out of 360 trials ito yung mean na makukuha tayo ng result na 4 and then ito yung kanyang standard deviation so medyo diverse siya ay uh, variance okay medyo ma uh, magkakalayo yung mga chances natin and uh, this is our standard deviation okay um i hope that is clear meron pa ba okay this time i am going to discuss to you the other types of um, distributions this is optional but then i will i will uh, discuss it um uh still okay so we have the multinomial distribution. So kanina um yung ating distribution ay binomial lang dalawa lang. Pero ito multinomial distribution kasi um yung x natin consists of events 1, events 2, event 3, events event 1, event 2, event 3 up to event k which have corresponding probabilities of probability 1, probability 2, two probability 3. Ah, sorry. Not yes, probability 1, probability 2, probability 3 up to probability k of occurring and x sub 1 is the number of times uh, that um, uh, event e will occur x sub 2 will be the number that uh, or the number of times that event 2 will occur and so on okay and so we have here the prob <coughs> probability of our uh, multinomial distribution p of x is equal to n factorial <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Multiply our over the our x sub one, our x sub two factorial, our x sub three factorial up to our x sub k factorial, multiplied by our p sub one raised to x sub one times p sub two raised to x sub two times p sub k raised to x up to x sub k. Okay, where x sub one plus x sub two plus x sub three up to uh, x sub k is equal to n okay that is the number of our trials and p are the probabilities of all these events or these outcomes rather is equal to 1 okay and then we also have the poison distribution the probability of x occurrences in an interval of time volume area among others for a variable where lama okay that is lam that is lama Okay, uh, is the mean number of occurrences per unit time, area, volume, etc. Is this okay? Lambda, pala guys, lambda. Okay, where well, lambda is the mean number of occurrences per unit. Okay, so we have here the probability of x given lambda is equal to e raised to negative lambda 
factorial lambda raised to the x over x is or x factorial where x can assume the um the values from zero one two and three and so on so the letter e there <clears throat> is a constant approximately equal to 2.7183 okay so the discrete probability distribution that is useful when n is large and p is small kapag uh, malaki yung yung um yung ano tawag natin yung x natin pero yung yung probability natin or yung <clears throat> probability of success natin is, is very small and the variance occur over a period of time is the Poisson distribution. Okay, so uh, uh, ayan. So uh, <clears throat> the Poisson distribution can be used when a density of items is distributed over a given area or volume such as the number of plants growing per acre or the number of defects in a given length of a video tape ayan so um yun yung uh ang tawag dito mga applications ng poison distribution natin okay so there are some examples in your in your um modules okay for your reference and then we have also have the hypergeometric distribution so <clears throat> Given a population with only two types of object, like female or male, defective or non-defective, success and failures, among others, such that there, there are A items on one kind and B items on another kind, and A plus B equals the total population, the probability of or P of X of selecting without replacement a sample size N with items of type A and N minus X items of type B yes I'm going to write it on the paper the formula since I cannot um, input it on that um, uh, PowerPoint I know okay so this is the formula for hypergeometric distribution so we have P of X is equal to um n n or a sorry a taken x minus or times sorry that is times times um b taken or combination combination pala yan hindi hindi siya permutation so a combination of x b combination of n minus x all over a minus B combination of N. Ayan. Okay, so this is the formula for hypergeometric distribution. And we also have examples on your, um, in your, uh, what do you call this, uh, modules. Okay, so if you would like to have a deeper understanding of this, I uh, just message me or send me a message. These are optional um, lessons. If But if you would like, a deeper understanding of this i am going to elaborate it on our next video okay so that will be all for today thank you for watching